Hey everyone, Sly47 here. Today we kick off a brand new series on this channel, and I've been waiting to do this for a while. This was supposed to go up in February, and then I got sicker than a dog, and uh, yeah, that, that entire month just kind of poofed from existence. Yeah, let's, let's, I'm just never gonna do that again, hopefully. I don't know, eventually the kid will probably get me so sick too as well. It's the joys of parenting, right? And for those, because I know the comments are going to come in, yes, the background still in the works. Amazon just can't find our location at all and can't drop things off at the proper area. So it's it's great and fun. But yeah, I'll eventually remove that window. It will just be gone with editing magic and like that. Yep. So what is this new series? I actually took this from another fine creator over on Warframe, figuring out what is the worst frame in Warframe. And I thought... Let's do that for Blitz. So today, I present to you the battle to the bottom. Okay, I had to do the voice. I had to, and don't worry, that voice is coming back because, oh boy, I cannot wait for it. But let's talk about what are we doing here. This is a tournament that is community driven with polls to decide what is in fact, via the community, is the worst ship in World of Warships Blitz. Now remember, this is a battle to the bottom, to the worst ship in World of Warships Blitz. So when the community polls start popping up on my channel, make sure you are voting for which one is worse on that one. In the comment section of those polls, make sure to post up why you believe one ship is worse than the other to maybe convince others to your side. And add on top as to why you wanna make sure you are commenting on these polls, in the next video, I will be reading off the comments of those videos of maybe, hey, maybe you convinced some people, maybe you didn't convince some people. You know, hey, maybe this was why this ship was worse, why this ship was better. I'm gonna be reading them off. It's gonna be an absolute fun time. Remember, this is a completely community driven. I am just being your host in order to make this all happen. I think it should be loads of fun. So in order to make sure that you see every poll that goes live, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell to see whenever a new poll or video or stream goes live. It helps support the channel greatly. But if you're wondering where I got this list of warships in World of Warships, let's, I got it from an elite group of people on Discord that I popped up a thread on and we, they commented and we argued about a good bit. It was a lot of fun and it was a little while ago because of how all of the delays and everything like that. But if you wanna join up on the next video series for this or complain to me as to why there should have been another ship on this list, make sure to join up on Discord. It's a load of fun to come join us over there. Now, once all the current polls for a particular round are done, I'll give the last few polls a day or so while I start prepping up the next video and the next round of tournament matches to go up to, to decide what is in fact the worst ship in World of Warships. So this is a single elimination tournament. So once all the current polls are done, I'll give the last few polls a few days to kind of make sure we get everyone's opinions and thoughts and comments on that. I'll be prepping for the next round of losers in this tournament as they progress in this tournament, as we will figure out what ship is the worst ship in World of Warships Blitz. So, if I may, let us introduce all of the candidates and their competitors for round one. Okay, I had to stand up for this because, come on, we gotta announce who's going up against who in the battle of the bottom. Let's bring the voice back because, yes, we are in announcer mode here. But for match one of 14, yes, we're gonna be going through all these today. And we'll just be a little bit quicker as we go. But in the battle of the bottom, match one, we have a speedboat with no speed and no guns. The Valquin squares off against a ship that was made completely irrelevant just two months after coming out via the Atlantico. The Zetan goes up against the Valquin. Now, whichever loser wins match one gets to go up against a ship that we'll be getting a dissertation from Grandad in the comments section, the Haida. In match two, what might shoot? 12 BB rounds while everyone else is shooting 308 Winchester, the Normandy pew pews its way into the ring versus a cruiser that pushes you to open up your wallet as fast as possible in that tier 9 grind, the disappointing Drake. In match 3, while being in New York, 9 in looks, 
Seems like they forgot to spec into anything usable. The Soyuz struts into the ring. Versus what moves like a 600 pound life star and hits like a feather, the lion flops into the fight. In match four, this ship causes loads of bad jokes that will definitely get the FBI at your door. The kid enters the fight versus the only carrier to enter the challenge since every other one can do everything it can do but better. We wanted at least one CV in here. The Ranger DEIs its way into the fight. In match five, this Blitzpass ship has a cult like following, so let's see if that cult will keep it from getting far. The Lyonne, going up against a ship that the French attempted to improve by moving to the 50-50 gun layout, but instead they should do what they do best and reverse those improvements immediately as we have the Algerie waltzing into the fight. Match six, now that the Goliath got buffed, when the Goliath can do what you do, but better, it's just plain sad with a disappointing applause. Let's introduce the Thunderer. And the Thunderer is going up against what we asked for with sister ships and we're aiming to decide us to teach the real meaning of slow with the USS Black slowly entering the match. On to match seven. He was the run of the litter when he was growing up and was never truly able to shoot DDs like all of his brothers could. We have the Francesco versing off against one of the eight HMS BBs at its tier, and he gets the reward for being the lowest of them all. We have the Collingwood. Next up with match eight, what is awkward has a citadel, not enough guns nor a to do what it's supposed to do. The Dallas enters the ring, versing off triple threat of horrible cruisers, the Kildorn, the Deruder, and the Sabers, all entering the fight because they all are just so bad. I just grouped them up all together. Whichever loser wins this round, then goes against the DD that Wargaming forgot to upgrade when they added this DD years and years ago, the Yugamo. On to match nine, when God came down and blessed this ship with its capabilities, he tripped and fell, thus putting the last turret in the wrong direction and never felt it was necessary to fix. The Ismo awkwardly joins the ring versus an identity crisis that is the size of Manhattan with enough bland skills to qualify for disability checks, the constellation falls into the ring. In a last minute change up, Match 10 had a new ship come in replacing its tech tree brethren because it just came in with absolutely worse skills. We have the Black Rune squaring off against what has four skills in same healing and yet can still do absolutely nothing in a tier 10 match, the Savasia Bowl. Four more matches to go, match 11. If Wargaming didn't forget so much about the Dutch cruiser line, this line would be the next least loved line by Wargaming as we have the Surrey joining the Drake in the matches. And she is going up against a ship that unlike her real life counterpart staying alive for a long time, this one lacks the sass and longevity of the almighty queen herself, the Queen Elizabeth. In match 12, after two amazing tiers of ships, Wargaming has to add this stinker into the line. The York stinks up the fight versus a ship that wishes it could be an ounce as good as the next ones in the line. We have the Gustav Merki. In match 13, just like in real life, its approval rating has an all-time low, even an STD beats it out. Congress argues itself into the fight with an omnibus bill, going up against a Russian ship that identifies as a Japanese ship, forgot to learn anything from the Russians before heading over. With some short arms, the Amono enters the fight. On to our last match, match 14, what has aged so poorly? They have to add legendary commanders into the bundles to get people to even buy it. The Prince Eugen rots itself into the fight versus the tier four at tier five with absolutely no redeemable qualities at all. And already has two sisters in the competition, the Hawken enters the ring. Now that we know what the matches are, the polls will be popping up soon, and I cannot wait to see what everyone thinks of the battle to the bottom. The bracket will be up on Discord and in a community post if you want to bet on which ship will be picked as the worst ship in World of Warships. Let's also let me know in the comment section down below what ship do you think will win or be the biggest loser, if you want to say. I hope you all enjoy the series, and I will see you all after this round is done as we vote to figure out what ship is the worst ship in World of Warships Blitz via the battle to the bottom. Have a good day, everyone. Peace.